do we uh do we have a spare buck slayer asked do we have a spare bow we take uh out of state so i want to sell mine and use the money for a, a new one but i think i would it'd be smart to just keep one no i, I never shoot two bows the same and I'm, i get used to one bow i just uh i take one yeah i'm the same 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 thing i've always Always had you to might, sell you one. Could to, take a recurve in a, in a compound, right? Yeah, I could. I I could. I just never. I never do. I, it's not always good to leave them in a vehicle, like especially recurves. It's not real good for them if they're in the heat and stuff, um, or whatever extreme temperatures. They can delaminate, and um, most of them won't anymore. All the stuff's pretty good, um, so there's it's usually not an uh, issue. But, um. Yeah, I never have. It's not, I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad idea to have a backup bow. My wife, uh, this has been a long time ago, but we were going on a hunt and she opened her bow case and her, somehow her string had got cut or exploded. And she was, you know, obviously you're not going to be bow hunting with a string that's broken. And we have no idea how her string got cut, but, um, you know, I'd wish, I wish we had another bow then. Bow shop. Yeah. yeah. The problem is though, is like if you, if you're got a busted string or something, they don't always just have those sitting on the shelf to, to redo them, you know? Yeah. I was, um, I was hunting in Western Wisconsin and I, uh, I uh, blew the um, string and cable off my bowl. And uh, yeah. I, uh, I looked around the cabin I was staying at and uh, found that the bunk bed uh, uh, beams yeah, got about the right spread, and I got the bow between that. And with all my might, I put my legs against the bed and pulled with the my arms, and had my kids string it while I uh, while I pulled on it. And I I've, I strung one in the swamp one time too, using two trees when I blew the strings off of it uh, by getting limbs between the the cables. Which uh, I've never had to have a spare bow in all these years, so I think that might be just a little paranoid. I mean, I, crap uh, happens. You could have something happen, but. All these years, I, I've never had it where it's cost me a hunt. You could dry fire your bow and uh, lose a kisser button. Yeah, I've had that happen. I know you have. <laughs> you care if I tell that story on here? Go ahead. All right. So my very first ever hunt with Dan Infault, I was, uh, we were in the parking lot on public land. And uh, he pulls his bow out of the truck. And I'm like, oh, is that that forge bow you shoot? And he's like, yeah. And he, he pulls it back. Uh, and I don't know what you did, but it like it slipped out of your hand and you dry fired the bow. <laughs> so here I was thinking like I'm hunting with this like professional deer hunter, you know, that's going to have all of his stuff together. <laughs> and the first thing he does was dry fire the bow. I'm a horrible human. I just know deer. Well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we had to, we ended up leaving cause your, all your crap fell off the boat. Like it, you know, it shot the kiss her button off and uh, i think that may have been all it came off of it yeah and it came Anyways, off like 22 bullets so who knows where it landed yeah we ended up going to uh, a buddy of mine chris cooper uh, who's a professional archer and he fixed you back up but yeah. um anyways one thing i was going to comment on uh extra bows is i do have a uh, portable bow press i keep in my um my my uh not my safe my bow case it's just a it's like a cable that pulls, you can, you can press your bow with it. I know how to work on a bow enough to set one up and whatnot. So I can, I could fix something. If I, something goes wrong, I just have it in the bottom of a bow case. So I've never been uh, good at working on bows and stuff. I just don't have the patience for it. Yeah. I, I just uh, had Chris, my buddy teach me, uh, pretty much teach me everything I know about it. So I, I know time, enough to where every time I got five I know, minutes, I'm in a swamp somewhere. Yeah. I know enough to, tie in a you know a peep site and anything that would go wrong outside of a you know exploding or a limb coming off i could fix but i've never had any i mean i've never had too much issue out of state hey everybody if you like the channel make sure you subscribe right here and if you like the clips i got two more options for you two options right here subscribe right here see you guys